Today we're gonna to be talking about which design program is right for you. The goal of this video today is to help you guys make a decision on which program to focus on. So if you're somebody that is just struggling to find the right program for you, this video is definitely for you. Let's get it. If you're new to the channel, my name is Charlie Pangus and I make videos on a bunch of creative stuff. This channel is dedicated to my creative life as a freelance graphic designer and photographer and I even do some videography stuff as well. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, consider subscribing and if you love this video, hit the thumbs up button. And before I forget, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor today over at Skillshare. Skillshare is an awesome online learning community where you can literally get rid of your boredom right now. You can start learning things like graphic design, video production, basically anything that you can think of that is creative, you can learn on that platform. I actually just watched a brand new course the other day where Aaron Draplin taught merch design and I'm hooking you guys up today. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description below will get two months of Skillshare Premium so you can explore your creativity starting today. Awesome, awesome, you don't wanna sleep on it. Let's go and get back to the video now. This is a non-scripted video, guys. I'm just going to try to help you guys out and help you make the right decision right now. When you learn so many different programs at once, you become the jack of all trades but master of none, and you don't want to do that. You wanna learn one program first and get really, really good at it and then move on to the next program. As Soon as I got my hands on Photoshop, I learned it every single day. That's all I did was focused on Photoshop and I got really, really efficient and good at it until I felt really comfortable and then I moved on to Illustrator. So um, again, it depends on your goal. So here's what I want you guys to do. We're gonna keep this video super simple. I want you guys to focus on what you wanna do right now, okay? And then I'm gonna give you guys a few case scenarios and which program fits that scenario, if that makes sense. So uh, pause the video real quick. And once you pause the video, think about what your goals are as a graphic designer, okay? And then I'll see you guys in a second. Let's just pretend for a second that you wanna be a logo designer, okay? And you wanna make logos for companies and you really wanna take it serious. Illustrator might be the better option for you. And the reason why Illustrator is a better option is because not only is it industry standard, but companies that are looking for a logo that are paying really good money for it are going to want a vector file like EPS and AI, okay? They're gonna want those files so they have the highest quality logo possible. And they're not going to accept anything less. So Photoshop would not be the option for you. And keep in mind, if you go the Illustrator route, you will be paying a subscription fee for the Creative Cloud. So you're going to pay monthly to use Adobe Illustrator, okay? And if you don't wanna pay a subscription, you might wanna look into Affinity Designer because Affinity Designer is a hybrid program. It does raster and vector, and you only pay one price and you own the program forever. But keep in mind, Affinity Designer is a newer program. So um, there are gonna be some things that they need to work on, like text warping and stuff like that isn't as easy in Affinity Designer. So you have to just think about those kind of things. The good thing about Affinity Designer is there is a trial that you can sign up for and you can get the program for free for a little bit and at least see if you like it. And that's what I recommend you guys do. I use Illustrator a lot more than Photoshop nowadays for merch design and logo design because I just think it's best to give my clients the highest quality uh, file possible. Now, if you're somebody that does a lot of photo editing, like photo manipulation and all that good stuff, then you might want to use Adobe Photoshop. That might be the program for you. And if you guys don't wanna pay that subscription fee, you can always go with Affinity Photo, which is pretty good. So if you're somebody that's budgeting, but you still wanna get into photo manipulation and that's the route you wanna take, then definitely go with Affinity Photo. It's a great app and you're not going to be disappointed. I personally choose Photoshop over Affinity Photo just because I feel like Photoshop is far more superior. It just has so much more updates all the time and there's just so much more you can do in it. And it, I feel like it's easier to use, that's just my opinion. But again, I don't use Affinity apps all the time, so if you're somebody that's watching this and you're already using Affinity apps and that's all you use, you're probably going to disagree with me. But I've been using Adobe products since 2008. At the end of the day, guys, it depends on your goals and what you're going for. Again, if you're a logo designer, if you're a merch designer, if you're somebody that needs to work with vectors mainly, Illustrator or Affinity Designer is going to be right for you. And on the other hand, if you're doing photo manipulation, uh, compositing, and just photo editing in general, Photoshop and Affinity Photo are gonna be the best for you. You just have to think about the subscription fees with Adobe versus the one-time fee with Affinity. So 
I uh, hope this video helped you guys make some sort of decision today. I know it was kind of all over the place, but um, I just, I'm trying to get you guys to understand that all programs are definitely um, going to help you out and help you achieve your goals. It just depends on what your goals are. That's it. And that's going to help you choose the program. But um, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Charlie Pangus. If you guys love the video today, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss another video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.